Good afternoon, it's Tom Wills here from One Marine down in Devon and today the sun is out as you can see and we've got something a bit different for you today so we've got a bit of a windy classic. So I'm just going to turn the camera around and show you what we've got here. So we've got a windy 11600 and it is a great example of what was and still is a very interesting bit of kit. Um, this boat is a 1992, um, it's been in Torquay for the last couple of years now, a um, couple of seasons I should say. Um, the current owners have spent quite a lot of money recently um, on the engines and also updating a number of bits and pieces on board the boat such as navigation equipment, that type of thing. Um, they've recently bought another boat, so this one's up on the market and they're looking to sell it, see the reasons for sale. And it's quite interesting. Um, I've never actually been on one of these before um, and I'm pretty impressed. Obviously, you know, for a 1992 boat, um, it's a vintage, but it is in good, well, very good condition, and it's also in fantastic, it's fantastic quality, I should say. I'm going to jump on here without falling in, and the first thing you'll notice is just how big the cockpit is. So this boat's actually been adapted at some point to, to allow for um, wheelchair access or someone with limited mobility to jump on, on the back here, and then through a much wider transom gate, which yeah, is really, really nice. Um, if you know boats, as soon as you jump on here, you do get a sense of quality. It feels really tough. It feels heavy. It feels everything pretty robust. Um, and in true windy fashion, you've got some great woodwork around. You've got the wooden table there. Um, you've got some sort of wood, wooden bottle storage there. And even the shelving down there is all finished with the, with the wood trim. Um, you've got good visibility. I'm still walking through the cockpit here. Um, and up at the helm, you know, it's all very original. And I think on these classic boats, it's actually quite nice to find something. I mean, look at that control panel. Um, it's quite nice to find something that's actually in really good condition and not been messed around with. Um, it's very easy for, for owners over the years to sort of start messing around with these things. But we've got a Rain Marine Axiom spotter there. We've got a bow and stern thruster. The stern thruster is actually those uh, propellers that go onto the outdrives um, and then give you the thrust from that perspective. So that's quite interesting. Ours why she's sitting on a thousand on one side and we're showing 1200 on the port. Um, so, you know, she's done some hours, but at the same time, you'd expect the boat at this age to have done some hours. And if she hasn't, then there's something wrong. So as I mentioned, this boat has had quite a lot of um, mechanical work done in the last couple of years. And she is fitted with a uh, Volvo KD 42s. So they're 230 horsepower through the outdrives and they're cable, cable operated from here. Um, it has had new Moore's cables on recently. So the gear selection is, I believe, good. We're hopefully going to get this one out for some drone footage soon. You've got three good size seats up at the helms. You've got a double helm seat and then you've got a single co-pilot seat. Um, you've got lots of storage everywhere you look. Because some bees you've got a bin in there. And then you've got lots of um, options on the cockpit sole to lift out to get to the engines. And what's quite good is at the back of the cockpit, you've got this space here. So if you're into um, sports, you know, fishing, kayaking, paddleboarding, flightboarding, you've got somewhere to, to get prepared here before you get in the water, which is really nice. So yeah, it's, it's a very interesting bit of kit. Large camper covers, which are all in good condition. We've dropped off that port side there. Um, to take the photos from that sea line next door, which if you go to our website, www.onemarine.co.uk, you will be able to see. You've got some storage underneath the seat there, if you want to store anything there. A couple of sockets up there. So yeah, interesting. It's one of those boats that you definitely... I love to see all these like, original builders plates. Look at that windy, you can see there. Really, really nice. Um, I'm just going to jump down to the cabin. So you've got wooden steps to jump down into the cabin. And this is as we found the boat. So it's all very tidy, a few personal bits and pieces on board, but it's all very tidy. And with this generation of boats, everything is just built to last. It really is. Everything's solid wood. You've got storage up here. You've got a nice arrangement in the galley. Um, so yeah, it just really is built to last. So with the forward cabin area, you've got this large seating section. So the generation of this boat, so it's quite common really not to have a separate forward cabin. Uh, this size of boat so there's a seating area which can, can be converted into a large double bed so you can see there that table would drop down to then create an infill uh, put an infill in to, to create that what you notice on these really good quality older boats you very rarely get issues with the headlining panels so if you see there all really nicely kept still no sagging nothing cut there and it's quite unusual really nowadays to not have issues there just then going here we've got an, a, an extra large door into the heads um, again to sort of allow or aid limited mobility access and then in the toilet itself you've got just a manual flush loo and a sink and with some storage above and then in this aft cabin which I won't go into we've got some more photos on our website but you'll see um, that's a large double cabin in there if I just stand back here I mean I can almost stand up completely here not quite we've got ever sparker heating up there here the sparker heating control 
but it's just all quite interesting and it feels really solid it doesn't feel damp um yeah it, it just feels in really good condition i'll take you back up top um just to give you another idea of this cockpit and like you can see if i just stand there it just shows you how much room there is in that cockpit and you see nathan spotting out the back there i'll just um, take you up on the foredeck now so you've got pretty good access um steps there up onto this side deck I've got, I'm using that rail there with the covers there to hold on to, but I've got another rail here as well. And then walking my way forward, I don't feel particularly exposed. And upon the foredeck itself, you could easily have a couple of cushions up here if you wanted to, to make this into a sun pad. The screens are all working in good shape, which is another important issue on, on boats of this age. Hatches are okay, a bit crazed there, but it wouldn't be too much of an issue to change those. And then you've got the uh, anchor up here and you've got the anchor locker. So you've got the electric anchor witness in there, which is gas assisted. Hinges need adjusting on there, but all in all, it, for its age, it's in really, really nice condition. We had her washed off last week by one of our chaps who does some cleaning for us, and um, she's come up really nice, as you would expect, again, of a boat of this quality. So yeah, all in all, quite an interesting bit of kit. Up on the top here, you can see you've got your own Raytheon radar. I'd have to check whether that does actually work via the Axiom. Um, Quite like the black pair of the HF. And once again, I'll just take you back into the cockpit. Sit down, as you can see, I'm walking around here sort of pretty much one handed, and it's not too bad. I'll just take you down the starboard side now. I'm falling in the water. One of these videos, I am going to fall in the water, you know that. Don't you? Um, I know I've already been up here, but I just want to try and give you an idea of just what this boat looks like. So, if she's of interest, please head over to our website, www.onemarine.co.uk. Don't forget to sort of hit the subscribe button. Really appreciate all the new subscribers we've got. And um, thank you very much for watching for now. We have some next video coming out next week. And as we always say, if there's anything you'd like to see in particular, please let us know. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and speak to you again soon.